well, if I can't have you, no one can, and they'll unalive their exes and stuff. All right, today I'm taking on Taylor Swift. I'm listening to the song Down Bad, and let's get into it. song on our hands now who who is this about guys who who uh, yeah i'm not i don't know pop culture stuff i know taylor swift was dating travis kelsey right she's still dating travis kelsey but when we listen to that florida song which was still that was a three week old song you guys said it was about joe joe alwyn or something i don't know who that is you know what i mean so maybe this is that maybe you know it takes a while before the album comes out and it's not about travis kelsey but they were dating way back during football season because if you follow football at all, you couldn't not hear about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. But I'm assuming it's not about him. You know what I mean? It ain't about him. He don't seem like the type of dude who would take all her old clothes and, you know, all that kind of weird. He, he ain't no clothes thief. I don't know. The other guy The other guy might be doing stuff like that. Uh, Who knows? Who knows? I want to be in the know. I felt like I was in the know. And then I remembered the Florida song was not about Travis Kelsey. But this seemed like after this, you're down back crying in the gym. What do you do? You vacation in Florida. I loved your hostile takeovers, encounters closer and closer. All your indecent exposures. How dare you say the hits? I'll build you a fort on some planet where they can all understand it. How dare you think it's romantic, leaving me safe and stranded. Can't have him Down by leaving at the ship 
fuck if I can't have him D Swift has really mastered the art of the breakup songs, man. She's mastered capturing that feeling. She really has a little vibey song, but like the lyrics and stuff, you know what I mean? F it if I can't have him, you know, something about she could die at this time and it really wouldn't matter. It's like those are the exact things you're thinking. That's what you're feeling when you're going through going through a bad breakup, especially in the younger years. I haven't been through one recently, but Lex and I, we broke up plenty of time. You moping around the house. I don't even want to live anymore. You know, all the things, you know, she, her pillow was all streaked with makeup. It's like those feelings, you know what I mean? After, and then you see in the news, you see in the news, people literally are like, well, if I can't have you, no one can. And they'll unalive their exes and stuff. It, it's like that. It's like that. It's like, it, the breakup can really be the end of the world. And she captures that feeling as if it's, the end of the world. It, it it does she feel like that? I don't know. I don't know if you still feel like that. I've never been through you know situations and as an adult and things like that. But no, adults be unalive in their partner, so they do feel like that. So she probably li literally feels like that. Maybe she has bad luck with relationships, so she's constantly reliving the breakup feelings. Like if I would write a breakup song, it would it would be bad because I like barely remember those kind of things. But I guess if she does not have the best luck in relationship and she keeps reliving those feelings over and over and over and over, that's kind of torturous. That sucks. But maybe that's just part of her calling, you know what I mean? To have bad relationships so she can keep putting out breakup songs for people to listen to to help get them through their breakups. What if that was her purpose in life? You know, what if that was like her fate, her destiny or whatever, if you believe in that kind of stuff, like she's destined to have those kind of relationships so she can make songs like this. Millions of people are gonna listen to it and benefit from it and help get through the hard times. You know what I mean? It could be something like that. What if she has a successful relationship one day, goes the distance, you know what I'm saying? Hits the touchdown on them, and then can she still make music like this? Probably not, probably not. Usually when people's lives change, their music changes. Like Jay-Z's not rapping about the same stuff he was rapping about way back in the day. You know what I mean? But it, that'll be interesting to see. That'll be interesting to see how Taylor Swift's career develops over the next decade or so. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know.